Welcome everybody, this is a tutorial how to change your background color on Windows 10. Um, it's really easy to do, all you have to do is to go to your personalized settings. I usually do this by right clicking on the desktop and going to personalize. And once we are there, we will go to colors and we just choose the theme. So let's say white will be pretty much white. Now that's really hard on my eyes, so I usually leave it on dark. If you wonder about the custom option, um, it doesn't give you that many options anyway. The app mode is what determines the color of the app, or in this case the, win the explorer. And the windows mode pretty much changes the, tax the taskbar and the start menu. So I'm going to put it back to dark. There we go. And that's pretty much how you do it. Um, now, going back to the other video, uh, will the program used over there still work on Windows 7 as of today? Uh, well, we can go ahead and find out. Okay, now we are on a Windows 7 machine. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is to download a program called Qt Bar. I said it correctly so I'm just gonna wait for this and uh, I will have the website in the description below so here it is there we go now it's called qttabar.wiki.com that's the website you need to go all right so up front we'll, we'll see this file over here that's just the update uh, you have to download the file first so we'll go to this one version 1038 so I already have it downloaded and installed in this computer. So once you install it, it will ask you to log off. So you do that, you log off, you go login back, and that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna close this, and we're just gonna go and open an Explorer uh, application. So as you can see, I already have the color change around here. And how do I do that? So first, you will see that nothing changed here. But for that, we will go up to this bar, We'll, go, we'll do a right click and we'll click on command bar number one. Okay, after that, we'll click on this gear. A new window will appear and we'll go to appearance. And we will go to the tab folder view and this is where you can change the color. Uh, you will change the inactive. Mm, you could probably put the same color on active. I don't know what usually does, but I usually go to inactive. So I will use let's say we want to put it uh, red i'll click apply and boom that's how you do it uh, let's do the same thing for active apply and we want if you want to change this you will just go to the tab navigation panel and if this box is unchecked you will check it and you can change the color here so red apply and that's that's it pretty much uh, oh wait how about this you if you don't want to see this bar just again right click here and just uncheck this and back to business again there you go so that's it pretty much if you find this useful like share the video and i'll see you guys around goodbye